All right, I think I'm just going to press record and start talking. I'm going to keep it, like, really authentic. Uh, I'm not going to, like, edit anything out. No script. No, I didn't really think about this. Just want to get on and just kind of, like, talk. So if you're not, I don't want to say emotional, but if you're not looking for, like, an emotional type video or a sad video, I would just probably click off this video right now. Like, this video is probably not going to be that entertaining. Um, not that funny. None of that, but, um, damn, this shit is hard to say. My college career is over. Like, I, I've used every single last bit of my eligibility. Um, I came back from my fifth year this year because I had got my year back for COVID, which I only played two games. That year, we only played two games as a team. So I got my year back, and uh, I decided to come back. And I don't have no regrets about coming back, bro. Like. It was a rough season, a lot of ups and downs, but like I loved every minute, second, millisecond of it. You feel me? And damn, this shit is so hard, bro. Like I don't think I'm gonna cry. I've I've cried so much over the past few days, but um, you know, I really just thought this was a year that we can go all the way and win a championship and. Bro, people, my teammates, my family, my friends, they joke about it all the time, bro. You're old, you're old, and I mean, like, 23. Like, if we keeping it 100, bro, like, I felt the best I've felt ever since I've been in college. Like, even when I was 18 years old. Like, I couldn't, you know, just go in the gym and stretch now, but... Or go in the gym and not stretch and just get right into hooping. Like, I actually had to, like preparing, preparation, and mentally, and all of that stuff. Like, I had to go into the gym and actually stretch before I hooped. But, like, when I was hooping, bro, I felt good. So, like, bro, I don't regret it at all. Um, like I said, this, this might jump all over the place. This is really going to be just unorganized. I just clicked the record button. But, man, the other night, bro... We lost by one in a playoff game to the team we lose to every single year in the playoff game, bro. And I ain't gonna put down none of my teammates in this video. I'm not gonna do that at all. Um, you know, I know who was out there trying. I know who was out there fighting for me. And like, that's all I could ask for, bro. Like, whether as a teammate they liked me or not, didn't like me, you feel me, was friends with me, was like tight with me. Like I felt like those guys out there was like fighting for me, you feel me? Like they wanted, they knew that I deserved more than that. Like I deserved to go out a better way. And like, I really been struggling the past couple of days, like, you know, crying and stuff, trying to find my way. Cause like all I've ever known was sports. Like, since I was two years old, I was always around sports. Like, my dad played in the NFL. My dad coached college basketball. I've been playing sports since I was two years old, bro. Like, that's all I've known. And, like, now a lot of people tell me I'm good enough to play overseas. But I don't know. A lot of people tell me I can make it over there. But, like, it's it's not certain. You know what I mean? Like, it's an uncertainty. Like, it's just, bro, I was certain year after year after year, I was coming back to play basketball at Cabrini. And it's like, that four years went by so fast, but it went by so slow, too. And then five years, it went by so slow, too, bro. And like, bro, like, this shit hurt, bro. Like, but I do wanna I wanna thank everybody who reached out to me and uh asked if I was alright, you know. After we lost that game, bro, I cried my fucking heart out, bro. To my to everybody, bro. My my girl, my my dad, my coach, my cousin PJ, my other cousin Corey, my best friend Brendan. I cried. 
cry, bro. My dad, I cried so much. My dad had to call my mom to calm me down, bro. And it's just like, cause I knew it was over, bro. And it's like, I knew it wasn't just over for me. I had two other scenes on that team who I'm really close with, Malik and C Lane, bro. And I knew it was over for them too. And I know how much that shit hurt, bro. And you know, like, bro, I just fucking cried and cried and cried, bro. I wanted to win that game so bad, like everything in me. But what I can say and what I am proud of, bro, and what my mom did tell me, like, not even that game. That game, I gave it everything I had, bro. Like, I gave it everything I, I like, physically had. But, like, the five years I was at Cabrini, I gave this program every ounce of blood, sweat, tears, bro. I gave it every ounce of emotion. I gave it every ounce of care and knowledge and time and pro i i gave this program everything bro i gave coach mcdonald who i truly 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 appreciate because i wouldn't have even been able to play college basketball if it wasn't for him bro because so many college coaches gave up on me once i got in a car accident in high school bro i gave him coach wally coach kev i gave everything i had to them bro and i can never thank them enough for allowing me to play for their program and um you know thrive in a program this shit is so fucking hard to do bro this is so hard to do dog like i'm in an empty house just me my thoughts bro like i said this is not this is not scripted this is not organized this is nothing bro this is just coming straight from my heart bro and like i just really been struggling these past two three days or two days is however long it's been bro i don't even know bro like i honestly think it's only been a day but it's felt like a like forever bro like just sitting in the house and not going to practice is fucking with me so much bro and today is wednesday and we supposed to be playing today and just not playing today not you know just not dressing up no more, bro. Not not putting my tights on no more. Not tying my shoes up no more, bro. Not getting and ones. Not hitting threes. Not hitting free throws. Not going to practice, bro. Not going to the trainers. Not going in the locker room, bro. Like, just little stuff that I miss. And I'm going to miss every single day, bro. This shit is so fucking hard, man. But what I will say is, like, a lot of people did reach out to me. And like I said earlier in the video, I appreciate each of y'all for reaching out to me, man. If you reached out to me and checked on me, I appreciate that. After the game, all four of the coaches from the other team told me, like, great career, man. I'm glad we don't got to see you no more, bro. And, like, that means a lot to me, like, I wasn't a thousand point scorer. I wasn't a thousand point rebounder. A thousand, but I'm not on an all time list for anything, bro. But like the relationship I built with Coach McDonald and some of my teammates and the amount of big games I was in and bro, the struggle I seen that program go through and I went through myself, bro, and the growth that I had. And like, I wasn't a thousand point scorer, but I was a 745 point scorer, bro in college and I didn't play my fucking freshman year. I played maybe three games my fucking freshman year. I think I scored 14 points my freshman year. So like, bro, if I came in and I played off rip as a freshman, bro, I would have easily cleared a thousand, bro. Easily cleared a thousand. But like, it ain't about that, bro. It's like a lot of people can't even say they one scored 500, 600, 700 points in college. But two, a lot of people can't even say they played college basketball, bro. And I know what y'all thinking, you feel me, if you not keyed in with everything, you played Division Three, bro. But I am promise y'all, Division Three, bro, it was a lot of, I played against a lot of good Division Three players who were, who, who were or could have been D1. I played against one, he played in the fucking G League, bro. Like, 
if you if you a youngin bro and you out there like this is for my youngins just a little you know a little advice bro my biggest thing was when i was in high school i wasn't looking at no d3 schools bro that's why once i got hurt and all the d1 and d2s who had interest in me they was like man this kid got hurt I ain't had no looks because I didn't give a fuck about D3. I, I brushed every D3 school to the side. Don't do that. Don't brush no JUCO, no D3, no NAIA, whatever it is, bro. Do not brush that to the side because, bro, it was a blessing, bro. And all I can do is thank God that I even got the chance to play college basketball for more than a year. And my whole college career, I never got a major injury. I never was like in major trouble or suspended or I got to do exactly what I wanted to do. And that was, you know, go off to college, bro, and play basketball. And like my parents tell me the, the greatest thing I did my whole life so far in my 23 years of living was leave Baltimore and come up to Philadelphia and go to college. Cause I got away from all the bullshit I got away from my ex. I just got away from all the distractions, bro. And like, I left some people I love, bro. Like, PJ, like, PJ, I tell, bro, PJ, if you watching this video, I love you so much. But, like, PJ is like my brother. If y'all don't know PJ, like, y'all gonna meet PJ one day <laughs> in one of these videos. But PJ is like my brother, man. And like, I remember the day I got dropped off at college, he cried because I, I was leaving him, bro. And, it's so much stuff I just, I'm glad that I was a, I was able to accomplish. And, you know, the biggest thing is I made my mom and dad, my mom and dad proud. Like, I know they're both proud of me. And I really wish my grandmother would have got to see me finish college and graduate. And I know she's looking down on me. And, like, my best friend, one of my best friends, Jaleel, who uh, was murdered. These, these past couple months, um, I wanted to win this championship for him so bad. Like, I told him I was going to do it for him. But, you know, like, I still did it for him. Like, I gave him my all. I played really good down the stretch of the season in conference play. And, you know, all I can do is thank God and thank you guys. And I know I've been gone from YouTube for a minute, but, like, now that I'm done basketball and done school, this YouTube shit really gonna pick up, bro. Cause this is plan A. There ain't no plan B. I don't wanna do anything else. If it ain't playing basketball or it ain't doing YouTube, I don't wanna do it. So this shit gonna have to work. But I need y'all for it to work. Cause it ain't gonna work without y'all. You know, y'all know what I mean? So, you know, like I said, I know this was more of a, um, emotional video not funny not entertaining you know but my college career is officially over bro probably gonna post something on instagram a little later but uh damn that shit really over man I love y'all. Thank you for the kind words. And so many people told me, like, you had a great career. Like, you really showed out, balled out your career. It was a pleasure watching you play. And, like, that means a lot to me, bro. Because, like, people don't got to say that. Like, they could just say, like, you was a good player. Uh, um, good luck in the future. Like, you feel me? They could just say other shit. But a whole lot of people told me I had a a good career, bro, so that's something I can hang my hat on. And the one thing my assistant coach did tell me was I took the last shot of my career, bro. We was down two. Um, like 20 seconds left, I drove the ball, hop step, pump fake, got two guys in the air and went into his body and then gave me the call. I thought it was a foul, but my assistant coach did tell me like, I'm glad you took the last shot of your career because if anybody else took it, you wouldn't have been able to live with yourself. So if you know me, if you ever watch me play, my bread and butter is driving the basketball. Like I'm a slasher at heart. I, I did hit a three in that game though. I did hit a three. I took a couple of them. I did hit a three. I think I only took two. I did hit a three though. 
But like, if you know my game, ever seen me play, you know that like, I can get to the basket. So, you know, I could have pulled up maybe. I could have shot a sidestep three, you know, game time. But I did what I do for my last shot. And I was going to live or die with it. And I dropped the basketball. And it's a layup I can't make. If I got it again, am I going to make it? I don't know. Did I get fouled? I think so. But I ain't going to throw on it. I ain't going to, you know, dwell on it or anything. I'm trying not to cry in this video. Like I said, I already did all my crying, man. But, yeah. Dirty out, bruh. I love y'all. If you ever show me support on YouTube or in basketball, 